Hey, this is Steve Jolly with the Home Buying Skills Channel, and on today's show, we're going to talk about the housing market forecast for 2022, and is this market out of control? Are you ready to get started? Let's get to business. Now let's talk about the housing market forecast for 2022. Let's talk about how well we did last year and what we expect to do this year and in the coming years. Let's start off by talking about prices. Now, prices rose last year across the nation more than they have in a long time. About 18.8% year over year price appreciation. It's even higher than the appreciation we had leading up to the bubble bursting back in 2008 during the Great Recession. Now that doesn't mean we have a bubble now and that doesn't mean prices are gonna bust like they did back in the Great Recession because everything is different than it was back then. Now demand is significantly more than we had back in 2008 and supply is way down. Going forward, I'm gonna share with you a couple of expert predictions. Now the first one comes from Zillow. Now they expect home appreciation to increase up to 22% this year and start gradually starting to decrease down to about 18% about a year from now. So Zillow expects the market to be a little bit stronger than it was last year, even going into 2023. On the opposite end, you have CoreLogic. Now they're one of the biggest gatherers of data in the housing market across the United States. On their forecast, they see home prices increasing about 4% over the next year. The highest prediction we see from Zillow is about 22%, where the lowest is from CoreLogic about 4%. So what do I think is gonna happen with prices? We'll get to that in a minute. Now let's talk about new construction. It's something we need. It's about 25% of the market here in Nashville. And it's something we need, especially in a high demand, low supply housing market like we have in Nashville and many places across the nation. Now the number of new homes being built has been decreasing recently, and that's troublesome for our market. Part of that I think is due to builder confidence, rising costs, inflation, rising interest rates, supply chain issues, all these things and many more are causing builders to lose confidence in the future market. But they can't just turn off the supply of homes that easily. It takes a couple of years for builders to unwind what they've already started. So don't expect to see huge decreases in new construction, but just know it's trending downward in a way that's not good for us or the economy in this current housing market. Let's spend a few minutes talking about sales. Overall, Zillow expects us to sell about 6.4 million homes across the nation in 2022. And that's about a 5% increase than we had in 2021. So where is this inventory going to come from? Some of it's going to come from new construction, but the rest of it has to come from existing home sales. The outlook for supply and demand across the nation is mixed. If we hope to get back to 2019 levels, we need more inventory in order to make that happen. Some folks think we're going to get there in 2023. Other folks think 2025 is when we'll get there. No one really knows, but we still have a few more years of frustration in dealing with a very tight seller's market. And if I was a buyer in a tight seller's market, looking at another year of double digit appreciation, I would be looking to buy a home in my area as soon as possible. You cannot afford to sit out another year and lose 20% appreciation while all of your rent money is going down the drain. From a seller standpoint, you still have some time to decide what you want to do. However, I would keep an eye on interest rates. As interest rates increase, demand will go down and so will price appreciation. So if you're trying to time the market just right, you need to be very careful. Keep an eye on interest rates. Now that we've talked about the market across the nation, let's take a look at my own backyard in my hometown of Nashville and see what's happening there. So I looked at the market for the first 80 days of 2022 and compared it to the first 80 days of 2021. And I think you'll be interested in what you see. Now here's what I found, and this is a little bit concerning. New listings coming on the market have dropped or declined 25% year over year. So we have 25% new listings now than we did in the beginning of 2021. What does that mean? That means that there's less opportunities for buyers to buy a home. There's less opportunities if you want to move up into another home or downsize into a smaller home. There are fewer opportunities for you to do that because there's less inventory. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to stay that way 
The year is still very early. We haven't quite entered the peak season, which we're right on the edge of doing. What I hope to see in the next few months is more homes coming on the market, especially existing homes. As I told you in the national statistics, new home construction is down. And in Nashville, new home sales were down 14% in the first 80 days of 2022 as compared to last year. Now that also is a little concerning because we need every new home that we can to hit the market in order to fill that demand that's out there. Now, once again, not every new construction home is listed in the MLS. So I hope some of these are being sold before they hit the MLS and it's not really reflecting in those numbers, but it's too early to tell what's gonna happen. And once again, we hope as the summer hits and as the spring peak season hits, that we get more new construction homes and more existing homes on the market to fulfill that demand. Also, pending homes are down too. Now, pending means that the home is not yet sold, but it is under contract. And so those sales are down 9% from last year. But when you compare that to listings down 25%, that's a, another indication that demand is still strong, especially in Nashville. And when you look at the number of pending homes versus the number of listings that come on the market at any given time period, that gives you an idea of how strong the market is and how many buyers are out there vying for homes. In 2021, about 83% of the listings went pending in that same time period. As compared to 2022, when you see 101% of listings went pending or went under contract. What this means is nearly every home that's coming on the market in 2022 is going under contract and likely going under contract within a few days. Let's talk about showings. Now they're only down 8% from last year. Well, with listings down 25%, that's a, a lot fewer opportunities for people to show homes. And considering showings are only down 8%, it's more proof that this market is as strong as it was last year, or maybe even stronger. Now let's talk about how Nashville fares compared to the rest of the nation and what some of the differences may be. Now Nashville has a long history of doing better than average when compared to similar cities across the nation. Whether it's during COVID, during the Great Recession, or during good times, Nashville just seems to do better. So if you decide to look here, and you decide to look at prices, just realize price appreciation in Nashville is probably gonna be higher than what you expect in other areas across the nation. Thank you for tuning in and watching the show on the housing market. If you liked the video, please click on the like button to let us know you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about the market, leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer them. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you'll never miss one of our videos. Take care and have a great day.